YouTube land and welcome back to another video from Devoted to Disney Down Under. Today guys I've got another action figure review and this one is The Mandalorian and Grogu. This one is from a particular episode, episode 2 of season 1 and it's where he's muddied from fighting the Mudhorn. And if you recall, we need to get his egg to give to the Jawas to get parts for his ship back. So, I picked up this one from Toy Mate for $20 Australian. Fantastic price. They had loads and loads there. So, they were able to discount them. So, if you really want it, go out and check your local Toy Mate. Um... But I was very, very happy indeed to pick this up for $20. So, it is a deluxe figure. So, it's in pretty much the same box, just a little bit larger. We're still at the window. Um, it displays well if you want it to be a open or a mint inbox collector. And on the back, we get a little information about the action figure. Usual... Just standard. Then on the side, a nice little photo of Mando there. So I'm gonna open this up guys and show you. So I'll come back in a second. All right guys, we've got it open now and it's exactly the same as the original. It's just caked in mud. So if we look close up there, that's his after fighting the mud horn in the mud heap. That's how he comes out looking. So you do get his weapon here. And you get a little pistol. I'll just get that out. Pistol there. Take the weapon away. There we go. And then the... So you get those two weapons. Now I will show you the articulation. So we're articulated at the ankle, double knee, so you can get a very dynamic pose. And at the hips, double hip joints. At the waist, swivels, wrist, elbow, double elbowed, double shouldered. And at the neck, so you can get some nice dynamic poses with Mando. And you know what Hasbro should do? Bring out a six inch scale mud horn for him to fight against. I would be all over that. Would make the scene up. But he's looking wonderful. I like it. So he will be standing next to my normal, uh, without the mud version of Mando. So he's very good there. Now he also comes with the egg that he is trying to get for the Jawas. And if we all recall at the end of that, they just eat it. There was nothing magical or anything about it. They just enjoyed eating them. So there's the egg. And we do get little Grogu. And his little hover, I don't know what you'd call it, a hover crib. <laughs> Now, he's not articulated at all. Uh, maybe at the neck joint. There you go. That's it. It's, I think it's a ball joint, so you can move it backwards and forwards and swivel it from side to side. But apart from that, he is not articulated. Not like the other little Grogu you can get in the uh, singular Grogu pack where he is articulated. So there we have it. A nice action figure with the egg. I'm happy to have got that for $20. Now, I don't know whether I would have pulled the trigger at the normal price of $70, but $20 all day long, I will pay that for this. So, very, very happy indeed. Go hit up your local toy mate if you're in Australia. 20 bucks, can't go wrong. Add it to your collection. And there was loads there, so I think they'll be there for a while. Um, there we have it. Now, I've got plenty more reviews to come, guys. More Black Series, more Marvel Legends. I have Ultimates. 
I have DC Multiverse from McFarlane. I have some retro action figures. I have it all coming. I have GI Joe classified. Everything. So come back, join us, and I'll show you these beautiful action figures. But until then, guys, happy collecting, and bye for now.